Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Thank you, Father, for your presence. We'll read the scripture and you'll sit down and let's flow. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh. Power that worketh. Power that worketh. So the flow of God's glory, the flow of your miracle depends on the power that is working in you. That God did not answer is not that he doesn't hear. It's not that he did not hear. It's not that he will not hear. The issue is that there is a power that should activate what you are looking for that is dormant. The power is there, but is it working? Father, do that which makes you God. In Jesus' name. Please take your seat. The first service we spoke about the power to see. This second service, I am talking about the power to seize and act on what you see. Life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you fight for. Whatever you think you desire, life works against it. You must be able to stand and say, no, this is what I see, and I must have it. Somebody must begin to reposition himself and herself for this purpose. Now, I'm going to be looking at how to take charge, how to seize your opportunity. I'm going to be on like seven or eight points I need you to know. This service will launch you on another platform. This service will take you to a place where it was a dream, but it will become a manifestation. That thing will not end up as a dream. It will end up as a manifestation. I am talking to somebody. Whatever life said you can't have, you're going to have it. Whatever enemy say you can't have, you're going to have it. It is not depending on their opinion. It's depending on the power working inside me. And I have announced to you we've got the power. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. Now, number one, you must have an open mind to accommodate what you have seen. You must have a mind that says, in spite of all this, it is possible. Papa made a comment that I've never forgotten. It keeps ringing in my heart. He said, it may be difficult, but it is possible. It's not impossible. Don't let anything remove you from it. Keep your mind open that there is something that can still happen. Something can still happen. God is not late. He's only waiting for when his glory will be maximized. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying today? Don't give up. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Sometimes I want to pray for people who are looking for children. And the devil will say, how can you pray for what you don't have? Pray for yourself and get one first. And I tell myself, it has already been settled. You must have an open mind. Don't write yourself off. I'm talking to somebody. Every time you go and isolate yourself from people and you're regretting and you are murmuring, you have become spiritually blind. Open your mind. Give room. That something, the Bible calls it hope. Hope is a product of sight, spiritual sight. Even though it may tarry, wait for it. It will surely come to pass. So have an open mind. That's the first thing I want to tell somebody here today. Number two, in seizing the opportunity, take a step to 
change your personal development. Begin to prepare, learn, connect. How do you seize it? Build relationships that can help you. Every time the devil wants to mess somebody up, he will tamper with a vital relationship. Africans relate with people for what they can get. And when they don't get it, they run away. Relationship. Relationship. Papa, there are people suffered through this pandemic. The reason is that the one who should help them, they abandoned that person. Now there's a problem. That's when you remember that this person can help. And suddenly you're sending your account details to somebody you have never said hello to in the past one year. Now, go ahead, develop yourself. Learn something. Add to your life. As a husband, learn something. Learn. You take five years to be a lawyer, seven years to be a doctor. How many years to be a husband? That is why you can have a very solid doctor, but a stupid husband. A terrible father. Nobody has trained him. How can you come from a family that is battered and all your friends are battered people? Develop. Sit down. What can I add to my knowledge? It's very important. Don't stay there complaining. Nothing is working. It's not working because there's a power that is not activated. I'm talking to somebody this morning. Stop sitting down there with what you know. There's so much you don't know. Add to your knowledge. Develop yourself. I have had to, in the pandemic, learn to operate a lot of internet things by myself. Do a lot of messages. Virtually, I was preaching two or three services. One in London, one in U.S., one in Europe. Just like that on a Sunday morning. And I have to see, do that from my altar in the bedroom. I have to learn and learn and learn to do it for myself. Because sometimes the devil can enter somebody to spoil you and destroy what you're doing. If you have a shop, the person that is serving you in the shop should not be better than you in that shop. Seize opportunities. If you leave, Papa, these triplets we have has brought a lot of young ladies coming to stay with us. But I discovered that there are some that cannot carry a baby for one hour. They are tired. One hour. They are tired. Lazy. How can a lady live in a house where a woman is a professor in cooking, cooks well, and she has stayed there 10 years and doesn't know how to do a camo, pap. What do you know? It is time when you see where you are going, you begin to acquire knowledge to go there. Acquire relationship to go there. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Don't be satisfied with where you are. Number three, hey, in seizing it, persevere. Hey, persevere. Listen to me. The moment you see it, the devil will attack it. You want to wed, that is when one man will disappoint. You want to start a project, that is when the facilities you're looking for will fail. The wall, the earth will fight your dream. But listen to me, refuse to die in the night because the morning sun must surely rise. Persevere. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Papa used the word that the word will slap you the moment you have a good vision. And he said, slap the word back. If they push you down, get up. 
and keep moving. Refuse to be found where they left you. Refuse. They will celebrate when they see you crying. You better come out with a swag. Come out smiling. A man specialized in running down the wife. Her self-image was battered. She came to my office. I said to him, you will die and that man will marry another man, another woman. He said, what do I do? I said, be happy. Even if he's making you angry and you're hurting inside, pretend you're enjoying yourself. Anyone who makes you angry always controls you. They know what to press and you start crying. Reverse it. Don't let them predict you. When they want you to cry, you are laughing. You are hurting, but you come out. When you go inside, settle it with God. When you come outside, force them to celebrate you. Force them to begin to think, what is really happening? When they cannot understand you, they cannot control you. Is somebody heard what I'm saying? Look at somebody by your side and point at that person and say, refuse to die. <laughs> you can't go through this suffering and die. My Bible tells me in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, after you suffered a while, after you suffered a while, you are not permitted to suffer and die. By the reason of this service, I release your settlement. I release your settlement. I release your settlement. Every delay in your life, God will settle you for that delay. Every mockery in your life, God will settle you for that mockery. Every disappointment in your life, God will settle you for that disappointment. Get ready to fly. They're about to see you where they never met you. Somebody shout a better amen. Allegaba. Refuse. Persevere. Tell yourself whether it's working or not working, I am not leaving it. It must work. Is somebody heard what I'm saying? People fight for your business. People fight for their health. Why can you not fight for your marriage? Why? Refuse to give up. I am talking to someone watching this broadcast from around the world. Refuse to give up. David said, seven times I fall, seven times I will rise. If they said no, say yes. Say yes until when they say, want to say no, yes, we go out of their mouth. Keep your picture, keep your hope, keep it alive. That thing you see, refuse to change that picture. Stay on it. That child giving you problem at home. See that child returning to be a blessing to you. Don't give up on her. Number four, in seizing the opportunity, develop confidence. Listen, there is nobody you can talk to. There is nobody you can meet. There is no office you cannot enter. Develop confidence. I was traveling at the airport, as I got in, I saw VIP lounge. And the Spirit of God said, enter there. And I said, why will I enter here? That is just tea and crackers because they will give me, I will pay 3,000. The Spirit of God again said, and I said to myself, the people that sit there, are VIPs. I was still discussing and discussing. Somebody opened the door and saw me. He said, hey, pastor, come this way. I came in. And as I sat down, I told myself, this is where you should be. <laughs> Suddenly, the flight was delayed 15 minutes. And we discovered the governor was coming to join in that flight. I said, is this why God brought me here? 
And then within 10 minutes, the governor entered, sat in the VIP lounge, and I said, Your Excellency, good to see you. I live in your state, and there are certain things that are not working. There are people around you who cannot tell you the truth. You need to get in touch with the roots. He said, please talk to me. What is it? I said, Your Excellency, we don't discuss such things here. Give me an appointment. He called his VA and said, get his number. Fix an appointment. I need to hear from you. My brother, that is how I went to government house to talk to the governor. Because I first of all saw myself as being able and fit to discuss with him, to be there. You have disqualified yourself by timidity. They give you post in the office. Come and do this. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh. You, you have destroyed yourself. There is nothing you cannot do. You are not doing it by yourself. For I can do all things through Christ. Be confident. Make your husband understand that he needs you. Make your wife understand that things are working for her because of who you are. Nobody should make light of you. Am I talking to somebody today? You will leave this service with a confidence that not even the devil can stop you. This confidence we have, that is why we can call him and come inside and call him Abba, Father. Some people tell me, I wanted to come and see you, but I don't know. I don't know if you will see me. I don't know if... Papa, do you know if some people call me on phone and I... Who is speaking? Uh, please, I want to speak to Pastor Don. Uh, yes, Pastor Don talking. They put up the phone. They never expected I would be the person to take the call. And they were shocked. If Papa brings you into the office now, and you sit with him. Can you talk? You will become Moses and develop the gift of stammering. Listen, I want to tell somebody that job you see, you may not have the certificate, but you can. That contract, you may not have all the money, but you can do it. Am I talking to somebody? Let your confidence rise because there is a power that is working in you. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. Number five is the eyes of faith. <laughs> I was talking with Papa. He was just talking. I was just di digesting. And he said, faith has eyes. It is not faith if it has not seen. The evidence of things not seen with physical eyes, but you believe it is there. Believe, 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 believe. To him that believes, all things are possible. Believe according to the power that works in you. So this thing can only work. Somebody has received it from the same altar. Somebody went back the same way because one believed, one was still assessing, analyzing. You cannot place God under analysis. You will get paralysis. His ways are not our ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth. Listen, my friend. Don't give up on your husband. He may be going through things, but believe that this man was given to me to make up. Have faith. Don't lose hope. When you get your wife, look at someone who can balance you. We said we talked about it in the first service. Every lady here, look at your assignment and believe you can. There is no problem in that family you cannot handle. It's possible it's the reason. Jeremiah 31.22. Jeremiah 31.22. Look at this. I don't know if you have read it before. How long will you go about, O backsliding daughter? For the Lord has created a new thing on the earth. 
a woman shall do what? Surround, protect. That's what God is saying. At the beginning, the man protects you. God said a new thing on the earth. It is now you, the woman, to protect. Only a stupid man will break down his defense and his fences. But are you a fence? Are you a protection? Be confident. If they challenge you, challenge them back. Papa said, if the devil slaps you one, slap him three. Stand on your faith. Believe in what God is saying. Somebody say better amen. amen. That amen is suffering from corona. Amen. Seize it. Number six. Be creative. Find a better way to do this thing. Find a better way to be a husband. Find a better way to communicate love. Find a better way to serve. That office you enter, find a better way to do the things that are being done. Be creative. I am someone who decided to celebrate anybody close to me on Facebook. And I do it in a unique way. I will take your picture and frame it. I do it by myself. And put it and the world is celebrating you. Create your own style. It's good to copy, but can somebody copy you too? Be creative. Seize the opportunity. Seize the opportunity. Do it in a different way from what it used to be done, from how it was done before. Be creative. Number seven. Be responsible. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Certain things cannot work until you have done something. Take responsibility. If your family is not having peace, can you take responsibility and decide that that acrimony ends this morning? Take responsibility. It is time for you to advance. If you are living with your brother, begin to look for one room to pack into. Don't stay there terrorizing your brother's wife. When you stay with someone, you don't know that your bed is not your own, television is not your own, the, the fan is not your own. The day you will pack out, you will not take anything. Take responsibility. If you have an adult living in your house and is working, he should contribute to feeding or get out and feed himself. Don't stay there and shout, my brother, my brother, my brother's wife, my brother's wife, my sister, my sister. It's my sister that is making the money. Go and make your own. Is somebody heard what I'm saying? Take responsibility. The Bible says that Joseph in prison, everything that needed to be done, the Bible says he was the doer. When people are doing things in church, find something to do. Take responsibility. Do you know that the COVID period, the pandemic has come? All through those days, church is still paying bills. Did your landlord remove the cost of four months from your rent? You're paying 50000 to suck breast. As old as you are. So they, your mouth has changed shape to a newborn baby. Listen to me today. Take responsibility. You know why? God rewards responsibility. God rewards responsibility. And finally, number eight, be grateful, be thankful for what is happening around you. The challenge is not to bring you down. 
The challenge is to activate power to work within you. I want to talk to somebody today. Listen to me. Be grateful for the life you are living. Papa, in Enugu, much worries have stopped accepting cops because there's no space in Enugu. So now you come to mortuary and you see corpses on the floor outside, waiting for those that will go for burial to remove and they pack it. You coughed. You had fever. You thought it was corona. But you are still here. It's a miracle. Be grateful for the enemies because without them, you will not have learned to pray. Without them, you may not have fasted. Am I talking to somebody today? Be grateful. Don't take people in your life for granted because they will matter somewhere. Am I talking to somebody today? Seize it. Don't let the opportunity slip away. Every opportunity to serve, every opportunity to give, seize it. Make it happen. They say it can happen. It can happen. If you can see it, you can achieve it. I said to someone today, there's a power in you that is not working. It's time for it to work. Rise on your feet. Madabo Shatayana. Every time you're moving out there, may God cause you to see the opportunity. The woman of Shunem was not the only woman living on that road. She was the only one. The Bible says she perceived. She saw what others couldn't see. And she said to this man, come to my house. She took responsibility and received children without prayer request. Cease. Cease opportunity. Don't let it move. Break. <laughs> Break the protocol and get in there. Seize it. You must not. The woman of the issue of us said, if I can touch and then look at the crowd that she's not permitted to come near. She said, I have an opportunity. What I have does not permit people to stay around me. So if I come, they will give way. So she used the problem as an opener to advance. She will come, they will look. It's the woman. They will give space. She will advance. Until she came to the place, she just said, I don't need him to talk to me. Let me just touch. Just one touch. Seize the moment. One touch. God will not allow you to miss that opportunity. Yeah. Lift up your hands and say, God, open my eyes. Give me the power. To seize the opportunity. Can you pray that prayer for yourself right now? Wherever you are watching. Seize it. Seize it. That challenge is an opportunity. Seize it. Don't run from it. Seize it. Seize it. In the name of Jesus. Open your eyes. When my father died, on that Friday, I was in Port Harcourt ministry. He was supposed to come to Port Harcourt to start a program for Sunday. Men's Convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Jesus House. And he told me, wait for me on Saturday. When you finish, so that you will escort me to the program. On Friday, I called. He said, I'm not feeling well. I've never had that from him 
He said, pray for me. I prayed for him on the phone. And Papa, the moment I dropped that phone call, I had fever. I said, no, this is not normal. And then I left Port Harcourt by 6 p.m. Came into Enugu about 10 minutes, 10 minutes past 9 p.m. And saw my father sitting down. My wife was on the left. My mother was on the right. The doctor was just trying to administer something to him. And when I got up, my, when I came in, my wife got up. So I stood and sat down by his left side. He looked at me. He said, nah, welcome. He smiled. He rested his head on my chest. I put my hand on his shoulder. He took his right hand and put it on my stomach. And I started praying for him. That's how he passed on. We laid him down. I took my mother, my wife, the family. We went to the living room. I said, let's give God praise. Papa called that night and comforted me. We prayed, sang songs. And I told them, anybody who wants to cry now, you can cry. Saturday morning, we deposited the body in the mortuary. I came back to the house and packed my bag. Went back to Port Harcourt to preach where he's supposed to preach on Sunday. Listen. And when I came on, came on that morning, they didn't expect me. And they looked at me and said, you are not done. I said, I am done. My father is in the mortuary. Don is still here. And I told myself, I cannot sit at home and people will come to sympathize. They will only tell me, sorry. And they are still looking for mineral to drink. Why saying sorry? Now me go still buy the mineral. And I told myself, this is an opportunity to climb where my father has been climbing. And I went there, did that convention for three days. And what I did was, all the program he had booked throughout that season, I canceled my programs and I took up all his programs. Not one was canceled. And that was where God announced me. Seize the opportunity. Stop lamenting. Stop lamenting. Stop crying. The only thing you can get is sorry. And, yeah, and they will go. There's an opportunity to take over. There's an opportunity to do something. Put your right hand on your head. Lord, I stand as your servant today. I address what you call fear. Every spirit of fear, every spirit of timidity, every spirit of unbelief, I bind you now. Lose your grip and hold. In the name of Jesus, I set you free from stagnancy. You will not regret, you will not murmur. May the power of the Holy Spirit be released into your life. You will move forward. You will excel. Your marriage will work. Your business will work. Your ministry will work. It will not only work, it will succeed. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a better amen. amen. While your eyes are still closed, I want to pray for someone. Who wants to say, Reverend Don, pray for me. I have come to the end of the road. 
there is nothing else I can do. Frustration has set in. The people you trusted to help have all disappeared. Ah. I don't know who you are, but I am led to pray that prayer. If you are like that, can you just lift up your hand? The pressure is too much. You don't have to worry. Don't you be afraid. Joy, Joy comes, in comes in the morning. morning. Troubles they don't last always. Oh, there's a friend in Jesus. Ah, Katuba Who will wipe your tears away? And if your heart is broken, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Just lift your hands and say, Sing it now. Oh, I know that I can make it. Hey, I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your head. Now, I want to pray for someone who wants to say, Jesus, come into my life. I have gone this thing alone, but right now I need to go back. If you are like that, can you take a step to the altar? There's a release coming your way right now. Take a step, take a step to the altar. Take a step to the altar, take a step to the altar. Very quickly, take a step to the altar. Oh, Kalebos Shantaya Nabozeria. Kahande Kutu Sobrandezia. Yes, Lord. Lord, I present this one before you. Come on, come on, come on, come. 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 Your freedom is here. Come on, come on, come on. Keep coming, keep coming. Laku dabado shete here. Ate kato supara. Le suga dande redosia. Le te kata kapoto sinte redosia. Mercy will speak for you. Grace will secure your future. I want you to repeat after me, those of you standing out here. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you just as I am. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. With my heart, I believe that Jesus died and rose from the dead. With my mouth, I confess that he is my Lord and my Savior. All the days of my life, I will serve the Lord. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen.